Hello, this is Raid, and this time I'm coming to you with EOS Essentials. So this is a plugin for Unreal Engine 5.1, and it's the new member of the MGS family. <clears throat> so as the name stands, EOS is um, Epic Online Services, and the whole purpose behind it is to make it as easy as possible to both set up and get started with it and to access EOS. So let's jump right to it. So as you see here in the marketplace, you have uh, features like login and logout, create game, find and join, start and end games. You can also save to the cloud and you can use that save for, you know, like user profile or inventory, uh, a player character, whatever you want, really. Uh, I think the limitation is whatever your account with the dev portal is otherwise you can save as many as you want and then you have achievements so that's basically um, it, it will handle any achievement you want to unlock and those are based on stats so I should also add stats here and these stats can also be used for leaderboards Say, for example, you have a, a leaderboard for the shortest time or the maximum kill or, you know, like the maximum coins, whatever you want. So this will handle, uh, this plugin will also handle that for you. And then the plugin comes with a server browser. Uh, it will have, you know, clean blueprints, tooltips all over the place just to make it easier for everybody. So, uh, once uh, once you purchased the plugin, you can install it from here, or you can also go to the library and install it here, and then make sure that you have 5.1 and hit install. This is a relatively small plugin, so it's only 110 megabytes, so it should be quick to install. Uh, by the way, this tutorial, this video is not about setting up the dev portal. I will make more tutorials about it and how to set up a whole project from scratch. But for this one, it's just a quick introduction to show you how quick you can uh, get started with it, assuming that you already have a web portal set up. While we are waiting in your web portal, these are the details that you need, which you will find them under your product settings, you know, like here and then under the SDK downloads and credentials. If you scroll down, you will need all of these details. And those are requirements by Unreal Engine. All right, so the installation is complete. So let's launch the engine. I will do a very quick one, just a blank, just to make it a quick project. EOS test, for example. No starter content, no ray tracing, nothing. I just wanted to get very quick with it. Let's create the project. Let's go to plugins and the rider bus. Let's do essentials, enable it. And while we are at it, let's go to show in Explorer. This will bring us to here. And what we need is the details in, let's see here. Let's check the config and then default engine. So we need to add the EOS, which you can find the details in the documentations and how to add those. And we also need to add our uh, credentials from the dev portals. So let me grab those quickly, drop them here and save. Now we can restart. So now that the engine has restarted, 
The only thing I did in the background is basically I created this plugins folder and I copied the plugin here. Uh, this will make it only easier for me for this uh, for the purpose of this video <clears throat> you don't need to uh, for me it just makes it easier to find my assets here but I am assuming that you will have your own levels and your own UI and all of that anyway so for this project uh, what we need to do next is go to the project settings and then go to the maps and modes and then make sure that we have the correct levels here so in here I need main menu and for the transition map find my transition map and the default I'll also select main menu why not and for the packaging because you know like this kind of services you will need to run it on standalone so it's recommended I think it's actually even mandatory to add your levels here in the list of maps so let's add the game and then lobby next would be main menu and finally transition map here we go now that we are ready let's play in standalone uh, you can also run it in uh, in the editor or in Pi, but the experience will be a little bit fiddly. Uh, you you can try it for you know like uh, debugging purpose, but it's obviously not recommended. If you want to test it you know properly, then you need the standalone game. If you want to see some debugging, you can go to editor preferences, and then under play. And then under additional long parameters you can add log just dash log this now when we hit the standalone game it will also give us this window here you know for debugging purpose okay so you can obviously host find quit and log in host a game and find another game i think you know those are if, if you are coming to this plugin then you already know what this means so let's log in to uh, eos you can use any of these services i will use just the epic uh, account which will send me a security code 784589 continue to app and allow once that done you see login succeeded I can hit log out and you see here it says shift F3 to see your overlay let's do that so here you can see your friends you can add new friends and you can see your achievements. <laughs> I unlocked all of these while I was testing. You can create your own achievements in the dev portal, by the way. And then some settings. These are all coming from the uh, EOS uh, portal. So let's jump in and host, which will take us to the lobby. Uh, in the upcoming tutorials, I will show you exactly how you can specify which map you want to use as a lobby and which one is the game level. But bear with me here. We are just, you know, looking at this plugin and see what it does. So if I hit tab here, <clears throat> it will take me to this lobby menu so I can save, load. I can also hit this button to exit this, this menu. I can start a game. I can find another game, I can end the current one, and I can also leave back to the main menu. So I'll just start a new game, which will take me to the open world game. And let's pretend that I am playing. Uh, I, I am racing with time, so the shortest time possible is one second, and I have already achieved that. And I'm also collecting some coins. And those are simulated in the upper left corner. 
you see when it's blue it's basically what I gained at the moment uh, how many coins or you know what is the current time that I'm on and when it's green it's basically have uploaded to the dev portal so it's updated the stats on the and those are the stats that will be used for the leaderboard they will be used for the achievements as well I will show you all of that when we create a new project and we do you know like uh, everything from scratch basically probably we'll do a third person character project and then we will create a pro um, uh, all these settings in the dev portal and then connect everything here but let's say that we are done playing so if I hit tab again I go to the in-game level uh, in-game menu which looks very similar to the lobby menu by the way all of this is customizable so I will leave the design for you if you want to design the in-game menu uh, differently from the lobby I will show this in a, in the tutorials as well but in here we can again we can save and load we can exit this menu we can start another game we can find a game and join it we can also end this game and we can leave in here we have two buttons we can look at two different leaderboards so one is for the time so that will show us the the lead uh, which uh, in which uh, position and what is the value they have so position one and one second if I look at coins maybe makes a little bit more sense so right Abbas on the lead and he has 11 190 coins so far so these numbers will be updated as soon as I hit end because it will show me the latest so if I hit end all right okay so 1190 is the the final number okay I think I hit a little bit too fast if I waited a little bit just for these numbers to update and then hit end these will update but none nonetheless now I can leave the game which will take me back to the main menu all right uh, in the tutorial series I will show how the find works which will show us uh, like a uh, uh, servers browsers browser and we can select which server we want to join but for now if I hit quit it will give me this uh, confirmation and when I hit confirm confirm you will see that this logout switches to login indicating that um, leaving the game or quitting the game will actually log the user or the player out of EOS as well there we go so this is a very quick rundown on how the whole system works you can see inside the if we go in the menu for example you can see for example if I if I select one of these let me hide the loading screen very quickly if I select this start button here you have the online menu and you can open it and then here if you highlight the button type it will tell you what it does and you can select what this button you know like what is the functionality for this button similarly to this style and the target level so because this is a start uh, button it will take us to a level that we will play if I select define for example it doesn't have that so the whole idea is that if you come here to the MGS menu here and then you bring in a new button let's add it to this so this button if you look here now I can change the uh, button type let's say to host and then change the style let's actually select the style if I put it to join but if I select start game it will tell me which level you want to go to if I do what else can I do leaderboard ah, not log out leaderboard so I can also give a name to the leaderboard and what is the name of the stats and these need to correspond and these are corresponding the exact how 
how you name them in the dev portal and the tooltip will help you if you forget what these are all right and so the idea is that you create your ui your widget and then you just drag these buttons and then you just tell it what these buttons are and you just select from here okay i try to make it as clean as possible and with every pretty much every functionality like for the leaderboard if it succeeded it will give you this so you can also do some other stuff if you want for example here i'm filling the ui uh, the leaderboard widget uh, for here i'm i'm leaving the menu so i'm creating my own functionality on on top of this and so on everything is handled within a subsystem so there is a you know there is no need to cast or anything like that it's just a single tone um, uh, system here so you just need this uh, this node you bring it and then you will have a list of things if you open mgs and then eos you have all the functionalities you need from stats to lobby leaderboard inventory and so on all of these are right here okay i hope this helps and i will come back to you with a tutorial step by step uh, we will create a new project as i said probably will be a third person character and then we will create our project in the dev portal and import everything and make it work until our final project all right thank you very much for watching and see you on the next time bye bye